Okay, we are doing the odd textual... Oh, what? Odd textual mystery. I hope it doesn't hit the... The... What? The other quest? I'm hoping anyway. What? Really? Oh man! Alright, didn't Kole say something about Sumeru City being pretty lively lately? Aren't you even a little curious? Sure. Right, Paimon agrees. Then let's go and see what's going on. Um, for our first stop, maybe start with the Academia. Ah, uh, autoplay. Right. Can we stop the autoplay? Hmm. Look, there's Bowser over there. What do you think? What do you think we should ask? Even just glancing at the boring, at the boring, bo boring records give me flashback of half hour off to the book was. How irritating. Ozan, what are you doing talking to yourself over there? I am Madam Fabuzan, after all. It's not out of place for me to mull things over out loud, wouldn't you say? But in this case, ah, uh, never mind, forget about it. But the two of you suddenly decide to drop by. Um, well, about that, uh, we had something about a party, we don't want to miss out. Kale! Uh, my voice is crazy. Kale told us something about Sumeru. So is it Sumeru is the place to be now? Apparently tons of interesting things are happening. So we thought we'd ask around. Any idea what she was talking about? Interesting things? What might Kale find interesting? Tainawi is still getting off so fluffed up like a ball of timberweed? Or Saino climbing a tree and getting his hood caught in the branches? Uh, did we really miss all of that? Seriously, and nobody thought of to tell me? Still, she said there was something big everyone was talking about. Can you think of anything slightly more significant? More significant? Ah! Uh, um, well, uh, uh, now that you mention it, it must be what I think it is. Recently, rumors have been going around about a certain book. It, it that's a classic horror story opening. Not some kind of forbidden tome or anything like that, is it? Forbidden tome? Ha! <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, it might as well be. Tell me, have you ever read one of those really, really, really badly written detective novels? Uh, sure. Tell me exactly how bad it is. Or leave this Paimon, for example. That way you start thinking, start off thinking it's a lock, lock room murder mystery, but it actually turns out to be the whole building was just moved. That's right. Or it's supposed to be based on pure reasoning and logical deduction, but at the end it turns out that the couple has some kind of superpower. Exactly. Or it starts out super serious, but in the second half, it just reveals that everyone lost their memories out of the blue. Or the set of mountain... Or it's set in a mountain village in the middle of a snowstorm. And the police officer, who been portrayed as a serious figure throughout the whole story, suddenly turns out to be a murderer, without any even slightest hint of foreshadowing. The world of Zen half the crime novelist in Teva to keep going. <clears throat> My apologies. I let myself get a bit heavier away there. For a moment. Anyways, to cut the long story short, I did borrow a book like that a few days in the past. So you borrow a badly written book? But that happened to the best of us. No, that's not the problem. No, that's the problem. Blizzard swept mountains, villages, superpowers, police officer who turned out to be criminals. This book had it all and more. Reading it was tantamount to torture. And despite how complicated it was, it wasn't engaging in the sliders. But there have been all sorts of rumors circulating about this book because of the strange draw strange marks drawn all over the pages. People are saying it must be concealing secrets. Uh do you think there's treasure involved? I'm not sure, but there must be many who believe so. Not only the not only have more and more people been borrowing it, but they have been all been specifically asking for the marked up copy. Have you borrowed it too? Yes I have. As well as you know well all as you, you well know, I am a scholar, so it, it's only natural to have a bit of curiosity. So what, does, what secret does the book 
of the at the center of the room was actually whole. I read through it carefully from the start and finish. Most of the marks are circles, but the beginning and end points of each stroke differ, as does the color of the ink used. Most importantly, all the names of the people in the book have been circled. Not only that, many of them have adapted from famous figures in Sumerian history. Some speculate that this mark must have been left by different scholars over the eras, each researching the book's secret, each searching for a name they believed in. Others believe that they, they are a kind of notation made by different people belonging to the same organization and that the name circle are their code names. Still, other things that is some kind of encryption cipher. But even after finishing it, I came no closer to uncovering the mystery. Not only was reading it a complete waste of my time, but sheer absurdity of the shay, shoddy excuse of the plot several times over. I'm so angry. I was so angry that I returned the book immediately. And when I came to the house of De Dana today, I found lots of people sulking all around. I suppose they are still looking for that thing. Uh, no wonder you zone down like that. I'm always guessing you won't be boring anytime, any more no detective novel anytime soon. Indeed. Ah, uh, anyway, are we Paimon? Surely the two of you must understand how I feel. Don't worry, man. Really? Uh, what's the book called? We'll borrow it and take a look ourselves. Uh, it's called Reasoning No, It's Not Time of Deep. Suspense Always Follow a Blizzard. What? Sounds more like a light novel. Huh, tell me about it. Anyway, read it at your own risk. It's truly unbearably boring. There's so many books with long titles here. In fact, time one have a look. Working hard and vacationing harder? What the heck? An Atlas of Rare Rainforest Dwelling Species Professional Edition The Art of Construction of Coffee Machine What? Because of the element sci elemental science The book jackets even say expert approved The former sage Cyrus raises this as an excellent entry level book Oh, and this one A complicated compilation or a summary of common basic grammar rules for rare languages of ancient desert people. Uh, Paimon is dizzy. It's just so many words. Come on Paimon, you can learn 20 different. It's Layla over there. Let's just ask her, maybe she knows something. Layla. Are you asleep? Oh no, okay. Howie, Paimon! It's been so long! Uh, I'm still a bit tired. You think you sleep, sleep, sleep well last night? Mm, I was reading a novel, so I stayed up late. It wasn't that detective novel that everyone is talking about, was it? The one with the super long name? Oh no, no, if you're talking about a reasoning known, no, it's not. Time of day, but suspense always follow. Uh, um, follows a uh, lizard. Oh yeah, that's yes. No, it wasn't that one. Madam Powers and said it was really dull, so I didn't borrow it. Oh, you're not interested in book secrets? I haven't even, I haven't even been able to keep up with my own work, even though I'm late. I'm up all late, late a lot of the time these days. But way more people have been invested in the books that I never imagined. Seven or eight on the single morning. I feel like a living signboard sitting here like this. Kavi asked me the same question, so you must have been looking for it too. He wasn't he was even hiding behind the ladder before looking for something. He looked really embarrassed. Searching for something? Hiding behind the ladder? He must be after Mora. That's gotta be some that gotta be it. So he gotta pay off his debt. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Let's just pretend Paimon didn't say anything. Bella, you're really sleepy, right? Must be dreaming about this conversation. <laughs> didn't really get it over anyway, but if you say so, it's a dream. Okay, let's get going. Okay, see you next time. It's not often Layla falls asleep so quickly. Who for? I don't think we should ask Harvey now. If he's searching for the book, maybe he knows something. But where is he? That's a good question. We can try hanging around where he might show up. 
there's a good time, chance you might be there right now, right? I swear, if this is just a freaking diary or something, I but... Good night. Hmm. Do you think... Do you ever think we seem like a pair of teeth? Hiding here to ambush Kabe? It almost feels like we are here to extort him or something. Paimon's not sure why is that though. We just want to ask him a couple of questions, that's all. Doesn't... Don't make it sound like we are the baddies here. Yeah? When have you ever been bothered by your consciousness? Oh, it sounds like this. Though. Quick, let's take a look. Stop right there, Ka- uh, I'll hate them. What are you doing here? Good question. Surprising indeed. I was under the impression you knew I would leave here already. Morning. Morning. What can I do for you? Um, not, not, never mind. Oh, goodbye then. Bye. He just left. Does he have a work to do or something? He step again. They're hiding towards. They're heading towards the door. Stop there, Rag Uh What in the world? Are you two doing here? Good question. Surprising indeed. Paimon was under the impression that you know the reason that we are here. Was if you are looking for you. You don't sound like yourself. Looking for a book? By any chance? Wait, what? Here's the deal. <laughs> you and Paimon pull covered up for quick sake. How do you guys know everything? God. And there was I was thinking I'd been super discreet the whole time. No one should have ever noticed. Come on, get real. You think you really think that no one knows where you live here? Hey, that's not fair. Of course nobody knows, except for Sino, Tainawi, Kole, and the two of you, right? Friends are friends, so if they know, well, they know. But what if a stranger overheard us? It would be a disaster. It might even impact my career. Anyways, about the book. You believe it contains intel about, about hidden treasure, don't ya? Looking, at the, looking to get rich, are we? Um, yeah, are you offering to help? Why didn't you say so earlier? There's really uh, so there is really treasure. What about this? He helped you find it and split the loot 50-50. After all we've been through, you finally turned out to get rich. No need to keep yapping. What? Hidden treasure and I'm okay. Ah, uh, hey, Paimon. Yeah, the biggest question is How are we here? Is that there? Oh yeah, what nice space about there, buddy. Oh yeah, and Paimon. Must be my lucky day running into you like this. Yeah, your mercenaries are pretty tuned into the grapevine. Have you ever heard of the book called Visiting Knows Not Time of Day, but Suspense Always Follows a Blizzard? Oh, you look you guys are looking for it too. Right too, you don't mean you're looking for it too? Darn it. Does that mean we are finally gonna have a square off against Deya? Wait a minute, would you mind telling me what you're looking for? Uh you go over the rumors. Hmm. If really it does turn out to be something important, I'm sure I'll let you know if I hear anything. <gasps> really? From your re reaction before, Paimon thought you were after it too. Don't worry, a client had asked me get the book, but her attitude seems off somehow, so I didn't take the commission. She's smart cookie though, and it was like she was hiding something, so I thought she must have a ulterior motive. Besides, I have other things to look into right now. Compared to some commission, it's more important that you uncover the truth behind that book. Anyway, no time to lose. I gotta get going. Right, good luck. Don't forget to tell us if you have anything. Okay, how do we know this book has treasure? Paimon just assumed we're gonna have treasure. Who's who's the client? Hey! Ah, how fast are you? Flying faster than running? Oh, it's, it's a traveler thing. Alright, listen. To me, it's, it's like this. Paimon, don't get your hopes up. That book, it isn't some kind of treasure map. It's just an unbelievably unremarkable a surprisingly ordinary detective novel. 
Huh? But didn't you say there was treasure? If most people backtrack like that, Paimon will just think they changed their mind and want to keep all the moral for themselves. But that's not something you do. Uh, that's not... I... I'm sorry. I just couldn't bring myself to tell you so earlier. So, I played along with what you're saying. Here's what happened. I borrowed a book a month ago. When I opened it, to the first page, I discovered one of the names printed incorrectly. That night, I'd been drinking just a little. And I was well, starting to feel drowsy, so I picked up the pen and circled the name. As you, as I'm sure you know, the house of data allow borrowers to annotate the books they take out. I'm in the habit of doing that too, so at the time, I didn't give a second thought. But after I was, after I was a dozen or so pages in, I realized that the names of all the characters in the book had been intentionally writ been written slightly wrong. Maybe it would be more accurate to say that the novel itself was quite strange. All the characters' names were based on real historical figures, but rather than using their original names, they have been tweaked so ever so slightly. Most people would assume that the author had made a mistake, or that there had been a printing error when they saw a spelling mistake like that. I did not find the content particularly appeal appealing, so I returned it before I finished reading it. But later on, I heard the book had suddenly become the talk of the town and that were rumors about mysterious treasure or something. And you thought it had something to do with you? It certainly does sound like it. Yeah, I also heard that uh, now all the names in the book been circled, not just one. I just haven't been able to figure out in, in Tevat what have happened after I returned it. Did you tell anyone else that you borrowed it? Let me think. Kainawi? Last time we met, I also told him about how poorly how poorly parts of the books were written. He said I made it sound pretty funny, so much so in fact that he suddenly wanted to take the look for himself. He made it sound like it was so bad, it's good. In that case, let's go find Tanawi. That's fine by me, but I still have some work to finish up, and that's pretty uh, urgent. How about I head back first and we can make up later on, once I'm done. No problem. Hope the work goes well. Me too. Thanks. See you later then. Uh, dialogue. Over there, over there. Oh, hey, Tina. I heard you, I heard you. How's it going, Aoi and Paimon? You guys sure look excited. You tell Tina about the book. As you do so, you reflect once more how absurdly long the title is and how even saying it just make you feel tired. You think? Ah, that one, yes. I did go to go to the house of Dana to borrow it. Kavi said it was wasn't worth reading, but I was curious, so I went and read it anyway. The problem was there was there were already two names circled in the book I borrowed, and the style of each circle was different. It was some kind of game someone had drawn a red circle around the name of the first character that appeared, and then someone else had drawn the green circle around another name. So in the time between Kavi returning the book and you talk taking it back out again, someone else has already anno annotated it already. Yep. I'm sure the first circle was drawn by Kabe. Yes, no surprise there. If you stop and think about it for a second, guessing the identity of the second annotator would be a trivial. Wait, you mean it was... There's... If there are two people living in a house, one of them draw the first circle, and then it's likely that the other person left them. I'll hate them? Uh, sometimes those two really are too much. In the end, as I, it is as I suspected from the beginning, the first character, oh, Mew, the first character whose name had been circled on the very first page, turned out to be the murderer. So really, that's just a blatant spoiler. Like that joke where someone opens a novel and bam, there's a note in the, mar in the margin that spoils everything right from the start. What kind of joke would be that cool? That was one of Cyrus and it wasn't a joke. He said he actually put a stunt like that when he was younger. Uh, was unlucky enough to borrow the book anyway, after he scribbled it all over it. My master, Nephis. And Professor Zahahadi, who had a seminar with him that very afternoon. Simon said that the master once threatened to give him a good beating by the side entrance of the house of Dana, 
it was only thanks to my mother, Professor Zaha Hadi, intervening and that didn't happen. How about doesn't seem to have a at all? Not one bit. The House of Dana never stopped people from annotating books, but this seemed like a special case. I didn't think the book could be allowed to keep circulating like that. So I circled seven, seven names myself, playing the false trail. Uh, the best place to hide a leaf is in the forest. The simple principle. You put it that way, sure, but still. How many did you circle? Hmm, let me think about it. Not too many. About three or four. I choose them all randomly. Then who circled the other name in the books? There must have been others who borrowed it and did something similar. I'm not. I'm just not sure why. Have you ever? Have you, who have thought that borrowing a book would be so complicated? What is this story? All right. After we have find a clue, let's ask more. What? What the fuck? Oh come on! And look, it's there! Let's tell how the real story is. Oh, and Candace is there too? So I need to reflect a little on what I did. What happened? To me, you're here today is surely due to the guidance of the gods. Greetings. Uh, personal trip? This trip to the city is, is to buy provisions for the people of our village. As well as help Miss Soteria deliver a message to the sages and the academia while I'm here. On the way, I happen to see Dea sitting in the cafe looking down, so I came over to chat with her. Ah, uh, don't worry, it's nothing serious. It's just that I suddenly remembered a few details about the book there after talking to with you. Before the client even connect contacted me, I heard rumors of an exciting novel full of undiscovered secrets. Out of curiosity, I asked Sino to take it out for me. As a desert dweller then mercenary to boot, the idea of solving a mysterious treasure map is pretty interesting. Uh, Paimon totally gets that. We inherited our customs of searching out for ghosts and wisdom in the sands from the gods themselves. But that book turned out to be dry as dust. A bunch of names had been circled, but I still couldn't figure out what the puzzle was supposed to be, despite reading the whole thing too carefully from start to finish. The case, I started thinking it was some kind of ritual or game or something, so I picked up a pen and drew a circle on my own. <laughs> what the? What? But later on, Miss Dunyazad asked her parents to find a way to borrow it for her. She said the mysterious marking fascinated her, even though she couldn't get the book herself. They were just regular annotations, it wouldn't be anything out of the ordinary, but these strange circles, you can't help but want to try and figure out what they mean. That's true. So they are. What you're reflecting on this having accidentally interfered with other people's reading experience, is that incorrect? Um... Wait, hold on a second. What did you tell Candace? She's a warrior, you know? Sometimes she has to interrogate criminals and other things like that too. Everyone recognizes her job is sacred. So when we need to think over what we have gone wrong, we will talk it to her. Please don't be surprised, my dear Aoi. To me, listening to other people's mistakes is another way of protecting them. By speaking of your own mistake and giving sincere advice in return, improvement will come over time. That's the way we do things. But all she did was draw circles and it's not like she was deliberately Trying to mess with anyone. Besides, anyone, everyone agrees that the book itself is just bad. Don't worry about it, Dea. Ah, uh, that's true. I was just telling Candace how bizarre it was. But be that as it may, it doesn't change the fact that it just ain't right to mess with someone's enjoyment of the book. That's the bottom line. Anyway, Dea, please have faith that the gods will forgive you. Your turn to cash there, you. Besides, yeah, you told me for a part of the story where one of the suspects in the case ended up crawling out in the hut of the village on his knees and hands and knees, and his name was Al 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 Ahmad. Ah, great. That's right, the detective from the book argued that he must have leapt across the broken bridges like a frog. Of course, you find out later he's 
conjecture was totally off base. Why is that? Because Isana al Amal has superpowers, so he could float right across this broken bridge. What the heck is this book even about? It sounds so ludicrous. Al Amal? Hmm. It's so simply too reminiscent of the god's name of King Dashrod. Don't you think? So, considering how transgressive the books, this book sound, I don't think it's worth overthinking it. Ah, uh, you're right. No, I can't help but wonder what our friends in the Temple of the Silence will say if they somehow got their hands on this book. I'm sure those sages will be able to unpack interesting ideas from the text we ordinary people could scarce dream of. It's normal to have. It's normal for there to be bridges outside Blizzard. Red Mountains Village and normal for them to be broken. But for a person to cross one floating through the air, why resort to one lame plot device? Sounds like a comic strip. Someone started to think where Powers and his was coming. If you gotten all excited about the reading detective novel but ended up reading Stripe like that instead, uh better not even think about it. Uh do you know where the book is? I'm not sure, but I returned it after I'm done reading it. And back then, there weren't any as many markings inside the rumors as I say. Alright, Detective Primon is still on the case. What is this conversation about, bro? Ah, uh, who would have predicted this? It is precisely because it's unpredictable that you shouldn't blame yourself. <laughs> Hello! Has visiting knows not the time of day, but suspense always follow a blizzard. Has it done yet? There are two copies of the book. One has been marked up and the other hasn't. I'm guessing you're looking for the one that is marked. Uh, you saw what you asked. Many others have asked for it too. I apologize though, it seems like it hasn't returned yet. Please, come back again later. Uh, can't you tell us we bought it? Uh, as long as it's all isn't overdue, we will, patiently we will wait patiently for it to be returned. Disclosing, disclosing Bowers' identity without pro proper provision is for doing so would be a violation of professional ethics. So you will have to figure out, forgive me for keeping the information confidential. In a point, it would be terrible if someone looking to steal a book and started harassing whoever has borrowed it. Hey you two, look so as confused and a couple of Aranawas. Who have just went to each other head first? Are you looking for something? I can help. That was Nahida. I can't even tell. What the? Uh, do you know about the book? Such a long name, but yes, I know what the one you mean. I heard that everyone is looking for it, and it sounded fascinating, so I found out on a brand new copy to read myself. By brand new, do you mean the one, that, one of the copy that is not marked at all? Yes, that's right. I was more interested in the content of the book itself than all those rumors about hidden treasure. So an unmarked Morky copy is all I needed. Speaking of which, it's funny. There's more than one copy of this book, but everyone looking for the one where all the names have been circled. Are they all afraid of spoilers? Or do they actually crave them? Oh then, do you know who has a copy of the markings right now? It just so happens to have seen him in the hands of one of your friends. If you're looking for a copy that sparkle all the rumors, you should look around near the palace of Alcazar. Alcazar? Dory. Isn't that... Huh? Dory? Sino? And Setos? Ah, darn you, General Mahamaja. Entrapment isn't gonna work. You can't do that. Hey, what do you mean by entrapment? Right, I haven't done your quest. I'm sorry, bro. You were the one who said that. So you had the book. I just I said I wanted to read it, and then you agreed to meet me here. So I know showing up who was just a coincidence. We are coincidence. You you don't play games with me. I know who you are. You're the new kid, Settles, right? I know your friend is of Sinos. Huh. So you do know who I am. I saw how Sino was chasing you around, trying to get trying to get you to play cards. And how you found an excuse to run off after a couple of rounds after that. That left quite an impression. You didn't have to mention that. 
No, I think Dobby is right about that. You always look away out when it comes to playing Invocation. It's becoming quite a problem. Howie and Paimon, you've been standing here for quite a while. Oh, if it isn't, if it isn't my dear Aoi and Paimon, what do you two have to come here for? Might it be that you have come here to do business with me? The Lord Sangama Bay? <laughs> of course, of course. Please give me a moment to conclude my old business here. Then I will be straight away. Anyway, General Mahamacha, as I am sure you are well aware, the means by which I had someone borrow this book from the house of Dana were both completely legal and perfectly reasonable. Seeing as it isn't yet time to return it, you have no right to forcibly seize the book that I borrowed. That would only be the case if you have not engaged in any irregular activities. Yet just now, a buyer, Satos, came to the place of Palace of Axaria on the basis of a mysterious message to meet a seller, hoping in vain to purchase a detective novel. But what do you mean, buyer? He's one of your people. You're sending me to deliver try to entrap me. God. That is not something I can acknowledge. What I can tell you is that I have had my eyes on this book for some time. Remember, it is forbidden to transfer or sell books from the House of Dana without explicit approval from the re relevant authorities. Hmm, I'm not selling anything, just to be clear. I'm just making the most of an opportunity. If someone pays me a little something to the side, I'll lend them this mysterious little novel to browse for a bit. If you don't believe me, let's ask any of my customers. Uh, anyway, I mean, curious readers. Yes, that's right, your readers. Anyway, I was just showing him the book. Is that so? And I'm here, I was thinking, you are really going to go through this illegal transaction like this, those? Huh? Wait, what? You two aren't really together? I'm just really curious of a book. I finally managed to track it down, but Sino. It's true that Dory never actually said she wanted to sell the book. So she isn't a mastermind who started all this. A mastermind? Oh, so by your own account, it looks like you have might jump to jump the gun there. I'm not handing this book over. Hmm. You may think you have played an ace, Dory. But when you opened the book just now, I saw the truth revealed before me. The book, bleh, the book return date is today. Uh, uh, you sure have a sharp eye. That's right, I do have good vision. You have to less than a half an hour before the book is overdue. Give it to me and I will return it. Mm, how could I just hand it over to you like that? This is a mysterious, super awesome, mega, amazing paragon of illogical detective novels that is practically a treasure. I'm gonna make a fortune out of it. Should you really be admitting it out loud, though? I didn't say I was gonna sell it. It's not like I was being serious. And how about this, Dobby, Sino? Why don't you play a little game with the book as a stake? That's one way of solving it. How about it, Dobby? Do you dare accept me, accept the challenge? If you win, I'll turn a blind eye in the book for the time being. If you lose, you have to hand it over. Sounds interesting. Interesting. Very well. I mean, what's the contest? Alright. Are you both confident in your powers to mentally recall? My memory is not that bad. Yes. What is this? You both have read the contents of the book, correct? Yep. What? You actually- Oh, well, needless to say I have. In this case, I'll just open a book and flip through a few pages. And you tell me how many names have been circled. Best out of three wins. Sounds good? That's nuts. What? Checking it out? No, it's game on. Let's go. In that case, the first page. Six. Six. Correct. Second. Um, I think it was four. Four. Oh, wow. Right again. Two drawn, so it all hangs to the next question. Listen up. Oh? Page 61. Oh, that I... 
uh, seven. It's five. Absolutely correct. The answer is five. <gasps> Sino, is your memory really that good? I'm not buying it. How do you know that? Not actually because I have a good memory, but because the circling of the name left a deep impression on me. After I bought it, I noticed the name of the first few pages that have been selectively circled by different people. Each person penmanship was different, and moreover, I recognized three of the circles as have been have been, been drawn by Tainawi. Few others were used the same color of ink as he does, so it was instantly recognizable. You even know that? Yes, I learned from the habit of his a long time ago. At that time, I had just been promoted General Mahamatra and would go to a secret base when I wanted to go through all the trivial tasks in my in my entry at once, you know, with minimal disturbance. I would often find Tanawi hidden away in a tree do there doing his homework, noticing the re writing implements his he flavored favored wasn't exactly detective work. In all these years he never once changed the ink he used. Back at the back to the book. Anyone who read it knows that the first name circle is the real murderer. Perhaps Tainawi did not want the, the plot to be spoiled for anyone else, so he circled other names. Annotating or marking a book is not in itself a violation of the book borrowing regulation, but why are all the other marks there? So there has been some conspiracy behind them. What do they have to do with Sin Tainawi? I want to go to the bottom of it, even if it's just for the sake of my friend. And to uncover the secret, you must have become a part of, con of the conspiracy. So, I circle all the other names that were left in the books. What? To think you do such a thing? So there's no chance at all? It was just you guys for all along? Uh, that's right. She used to hide a grain of sand buried in the desert and then grain of sand. I can catch a glimpse of the truth. And so you were drawn to it, making your own plans, yet in the twist of fate, you were discovered by me. No matter how vast of the world it is, you cannot run from the long arm of the law. You're making me out of this, aren't you? You really... You have way too much time on your hands. I give up. You win. Hmm. Anyway, that's enough for today. It is time for the Lord Tsunama Bay to return to her room for some repose. Farewell, all. So you intended to take this book to the Temple of Silence? I heard there was a treasure inside and thought it might have something to do with the temple. I never thought that was the real story behind it. But when you agreed to compete, I had already surmised you were familiar with this book. That's why I chose to put that particular particular format. Vigilant move <laughs> Okay. What's with that look? We were just thinking. There have been more twists and turns in the story behind the book than the actual story itself. Now, as long as you got it back, I'll leave uncovering the rest of the secrets to you. Take my leave for now. See you later. Can I borrow the book? Of course. After a slow shit. You quickly come through it. Even though so you weren't reading very carefully, you can tell something is not quite right. The plot is wildly imaginative, and just as everyone say, though most of the names in the book seem familiar, one close inspection, you realize that they aren't actually the names of the historical figures you thought they were. Not at all. Not only that, but every name has been circled, thinking back the course of the events, you fall silent, and then you explain the full story. Huh. How unexpected. But still, it does make sense. It's far better than the existence of actual conspiracy. In that case, I still have other plans. Last time I was in the caravan, Rebut. Rebut, I promise I'll meet Deya and Candace for drinks. Are we? Could I trouble you to return the book for me? Uh, sure. Thanks, friend. What the fuck is this bro? You find me back. Let's return this book. Oh, you really found the book. Amazing. I've been waiting here for it to be returned so I could see it as soon as possible. You recount the tale to Kaveh. Uh, seriously? How is that even possible? I... I circled the actual murderer? I must be surprised by the whole thing too. Let's just take out the book problem first.
Um, hello, this book is um, it's probably all my fault, but using the permanent ink to mark a page since that caused the whole mess of other things to happen. Now that it's all marked up like this, and there's even a even a risk of those marking spoilers just spoiling the story. So I like to buy it. The whole issue should have been avoidable if the academy uses the money to buy a new copy. Will you please consider my proposal? Ah, Mr. Carpe, your idea has merit. And it, and it is indeed a good way to resolve this situation. I'll confirm the book price for now. You can then pay over there. That's great, thank you. Shortly afterward, Carpe accompanies the academia staff to register the purchase of the book. Ulamao. The staff member carefully wrapped the, up the totally marked book. What a blunder. Regardless, thank you so much for your help. It was nothing. We just kind of... We were just kind of along of the ride. Still, Kave, it'd be better if you use something more erasable to make notes in the future. I understand. I will never let myself subconsciously correct type setting errors ever again. No, I mean, I will never even borrow a book with such a long name. At least for a while. <laughs> what just happened? Ah, uh, Ahetum. Uh, all looking everywhere for you. What is it? <laughs> I guess I got this little bag here. If I have to guess, a young man tears of regret. <laughs> and what will you know? His reasoning knows not of time of day, but suspense always follows a blizzard. You actually borrow to memorize the ridiculous book of and borrow and borrowing name like that. It's just because when I was fiddle filing, when I was filling out the paperwork to buy it back from the academia's office, I had to write it all over and over. Then it looks like this book has a new owner. Only because I subconsciously marked up the book with ink. Did you know that Tainawi, Deya, and Sino all circled the names in the book? And it all started because I named this. I, I named this. The name I circled was a Kirio. Killer. The kill, Kirio? Killer. To be perfectly honest, the moment I saw the, the mother's name circle, I knew this would happen. Wait a second. How come you read this book? Or you, be, you read the book too? I had the pleasure of reading it in the house of Dana. Your logic is a mess. It's just poorly written. And you left the book out in the study. So you knew I circled the killer. Then... Then you circled any names in the book? What do you think? You did! The second one is mine. Why? The best way to avoid spoilers and add a is to, is to add a red heaven. Then why just one? Tiny we circle three! I already significantly reduced the problem, the probably, 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 of the mother's identity, identity being spoiled for the next reader. That's more than enough. No need to worry about things that are beyond saving. Then why would, then just why isn't it necessary? Using permanent ink to circle a name in the first page, that's obviously beyond saving. What kind of logic is that? I bet you even drew your, your circle for fun. I must, if I must say so, then it's because the circling of, of the names is far more interesting than the book itself. Ah, fair point. In the end, I only have myself to blame for using all my pencils. I need to go buy some more. Congratulations. It's a one of a kind, out of print book, personally penned by the hands of so many, it's now yours. Do you think I look happy about it? I didn't even want it. <laughs> if it was my one, she wouldn't want it either. And that's no, that's a no for me too. Dude, what the fuck is this quest?